Hello everyone, it's Ginger from WebWench DIY Nails. <clears throat> I worked all week to get my builder gel filled and ready for Friday night. Here I am with a brand new delivery from Sparkle Co. Leather corset is their black glow color. When I started this manicure, I thought it was their black dip powder. I forgot about the glow. <laughs> we'll see that at the end. Um, Opal Dreams, beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to have to do an accent nail of just that. Crystal's Paradise Island. I knew this one was a glow color. Oh, well. Enchantress is a beautiful purple glitter. Rapunzel's Floating Lanterns is this pink iridescent kind of color. Awesome. And Emerald Envy. I could not decide. I had so many new colors and I just wanted to use them all. So that's what I did pretty much. I'm using Revel liquids, Revel dip liquids. I find them thin and they stay wet enough, long enough for me to do some of my nail art. And when I come back, here we are. I have already started a layer of clear. I'm using Fairy Glamour's clear after I had put the peel base on. I use Fairy Glamour Clear here because I knew that I'd be leaving an area between two black sections on every nail and I wanted to be able to use the scrub brush to remove the excess powder between layers and I was afraid that I would scrub off the peel base where I was going to put the glitter if I didn't have something down already. So. I do this one layer of clear here just for that reason. A little extra strength won't hurt anybody. This was uh, an idea I saw Marla Chris do a video on this week, and she made it seem so easy that I said, I'm going to try it. <laughs> so there it is, all the, the clear layer done. And then I move into starting the design where I go in with the dip liquid base and starting in the corner I just create a random shape that goes up one side of the nail it doesn't have to be perfect I didn't want a straight line and then I go into the other side of the nail and I do the same thing and I want a random look I want it to look broken almost or like a rip it's a rip through that's that was kind of my idea and I just repeat the same thing on every nail random you know one side and then the other I went from I left the negative space from one corner of the nail to the other kind of on a diagonal very random rough kind of look I really couldn't see too well over the clear where this was going, so it was a surprise to me too. I use pour over the, the pour over method now because I find that I'm able to get thinner layers that way. It also keeps your powder fluffy. If you put it back every once in a while, you know, it just keeps the powder nice and fluffy and which helps with thin layers and better coverage, I find anyway. My builder gel is a little thick right now. I think that's why um, this whole manicure wound up bulkier than I like. I had um, my pop-offs worked without a problem, except for one when I was using the orange wood stick to pop off the nail. I kind of I grabbed a little bit of the builder gel, which was good because at least it wasn't my natural nail. But in doing so, and to correct the that the lifting that caused, I had to almost recreate my um, ring finger nail about half of it so that's why that one's a little thicker I, I think I might have just gotten carried away with the builder gel this week because I knew I was gonna have about three days where the builder gel is all I would have on my nails <clears throat> and maybe I should have filed them down a little bit before I started this manicure but I just I just wanted to play so
Oops, there's a little scratch. I wasn't going to do two, uh, I was hoping not to need to do two layers of color, but I decided since I have this scratch and some other spaces that you'll see that didn't get covered, um, I needed to do a second layer for coverage. And once I started seeing how the canals, like how the space between the two black sections was building, I wanted it to be a little thicker uh, or higher rather. Um, so that, you know, when I put the liquid in for the glitters, it wouldn't really have anywhere else to go. It would be, let it self-level just a little bit and I'd be good to go. That was the plan. And you can see the leather corset brushes right off. It doesn't stain my skin. That's one of the reasons I was a little cautious about trying a black color. Um, I didn't want it to stain. So then I go in with the second coat and pinch the skin back so I can get a little bit closer. Uh, one of the things I was concentrating on in this manicure was having a definitive space between my cuticle and product just to keep them healthy and easier to care for. On the second coat I started, instead of um, doing both sections at once, I do one first, pour over, then scrub the second section to make sure none of that powder was still on there, and I do go over and do that side. It was still a quicker manicure than I thought it was going to be, and I think that's because you don't have to be so careful. Like, it's not a precise job. Every Your edges are random. Here you can see the canal a little bit. When you want your edges to have random shapes, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to be as precise or as careful, so it winds up not taking as long. That's what I found anyway. Another um, reason, a second, one of the ways to stop yourself from stressing when you're doing your first coat, if you miss a little section or you make a little scratch, if you're doing a second coat, you don't have to worry about that stuff because in, the, in most cases that I've tried, you're, you can use your second coat to correct the stuff that you might have messed up in the first coat. And if you're encapsulating everything in clear so that you can file anyway what you can't fix with a second coat you can fix with filing has been my experience anyway i think um, too many people take a shortcut including myself and don't file as much as they should file and buff file and buff you want those perfect cuticles and that perfect shape and the the you know no lumpy bumpies then you have to put the time and the work and the elbow grease in and you have to file. If you have an e-file, it may go faster. I find hand filing has been my friend lately because I'm so scared of the e-file because I haven't practiced. It's a catch-22, you know. It'll go faster if you practice. Practicing, I go tend to go slow because I'm very clumsy and I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself, so... It's a battle. I'll probably reshape the nail, these nails later on tonight using the e-file just to, so they're not as bulky or lumpy. They're not lumpy. I got them smooth. But because of the builder gel underneath, I think they just built near the cuticle higher than I wanted them to.
I'm going to have to look at other people's videos to see how they, when they do dark colors, how does that, um, what do you do with the edge, the top? Do you color that? Because I feel like I'd file it off right away anyway. I don't know. That's weird. I mean, you can see the canals are building up. This line almost came out straighter than I wanted it to, but the pinky is so difficult because it's so tiny. I guess I'll take this moment to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out what I do in the future. I've got so many ideas. I got a lot of ideas from doing this particular design, actually because this, this method can be used in a lot of different ways and I'm really looking forward to trying that, like soon. <laughs> if you like this kind of content and you'd like me to do more like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button on this video, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to um, grow this channel a little bit Here we go in with the glitter. You saw I just placed it in the canal, threw the literally threw the glitter in. That's the clear um, dip powder that you're seeing there. It's just purple glitter in a clear dip powder. I'm trying to get it all mixed up here. I do two coats of the glitter on the thumb because that canal was rather deep and the first one didn't fill it and I didn't want a groove in my nail. So I did go in and do a second coat on this one. Learning from that mistake, I only had to do one coat on the rest of the nails. This purple glitter is so pretty though. And here we go with the glow color. Again, you don't have to be very precise with the dip liquid because there's nowhere for else for it to go. So I kind of just dropped it in there to let it fill in the space. And then I did the same thing with about the powder. Opal Dreams. This is my favorite one, I think.
Again, just pressing that glitter in to make sure that it's flush with the sides so that you don't wind up with grooves. Less filings. <laughs> I think what I liked about this um, process the most was that was the, let's say, the ratio of the difficulty level was low with a very high payoff because I think it looks great. Even my daughter's, first, one of my daughter's first comments was, it kind of looks like a well, she said marble. I said a geode. She goes, yes. So, I mean, I'm not the only one that thought that. So that was good. Now, I did deviate quite a bit from um, what I saw Marla Chris do in her video. She was, she did more of, um, she placed, individually placed some glitters to, to blur the line between the two colors. I was enjoying the Christmas, crispness between the colors, the random shape and the, the sharp, I, you know, there was no blurring of the lines really. So, and I liked that. So I decided to keep it. I wasn't going to, uh, I don't really have a lot of luck with placing individual bigger glitters. I haven't worked with chunky glitters very much. And these these have very few uh, chunky pieces. And even the chunk, those chunky pieces are small. This one didn't have any chunky at all. This was all the, like the purple was all the same. Just, just glitter kind of glitter. So and then I go off and I do my filing. Well, I did the activator and then I did the filing off screen. And here I am putting a encapsulating everything in a, another clear coat of the fairy glamour clear. I have used other clears. I've used a uh, build powder that's supposed to be clear and I did notice that those produced white specks. Um, which is fine if you're using it as a builder layer, but if you're trying to encapsulate something, you want the clearest clear you can get. So here I am after filing and buffing. Everything's level. I have no ridges in my nails. They are bulkier than I like. I probably could have spent some more time getting them in a better shape, but I didn't. Here we go with the Fairy Glamour top coat on the thumb. I forgot that I have eye gel top coat that I like better. So, and mainly that's because this one is not a wipe free. Really, that's the only reason. I mean, they're, to me, they're all top coats. They all stay shiny for me. So I don't think I leave my manicures on long enough for them to not be shiny anymore, honestly. You can see the the purple glitter really lights up to the top coats on. I suspend it upside down to let it self level, and then I stick it in the light for 60 seconds, and there we go. It was a dark color, so I put it in for an additional 60 seconds. There was actually two minutes of curing there, and I did that with all of them. I heard someone say in a video one time that darker colors take longer to cure, so I will take their word for it and do extra time. That's not a big deal. I don't want to risk having a gel that's not cured enough. Capping those edges. self-leveling, two minutes, 
Here I'm using a little of Susie's uh, Nail Career Education cuticle oil in gingerbread cookie style. <laughs> I always use way too much cuticle oil, but it smells good and it feels good. And it makes my nails nice and strong. They grow fast. So still with oil on my nails, here's the final look. I love it. It either looks like a rip through something black with glitter underneath, or it looks like a geode to me. But either way, it was fun, it was easy, and I think it's got a great payoff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have some pictures at the end when I let it hit the sun and what happened once I went inside after that. The glow doesn't last very long with these, but it is intense when you first go inside. <laughs> you all have a wonderful week, weekend, day, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.